Do you ever catch a mistake that you made, but instead of going back to fix it, you just move on and hope nobody else notices the issue? Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-33, The Missing Number. Before I begin, if you're enjoying this content, then please do me a favor and like the video, I would really appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's begin. Item number SCP-33 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-33 should be inscribed on any single sheet of irregularly shaped and handcrafted paper, papyrus, canvas, or vellum when not involved in active observation or study. The dimensions of the paper-like product should have no parallel borders, no right angles, and no side's length should be equal to any other, also referred to as 33 safe dimensions. When contained in this manner, the paper-like product should be secured in a locked, non-combination storage vault at least 30 meters from any computing or recording device. Logs for checkout or check-in of SCP-33 should be filled out at the minimum safe distance of 30 meters to avoid possible contamination of the paper product or electronic device the log is kept in. When removed for study, SCP-33 can be copied to a white or chalkboard with 33 safe dimensions by Class D personnel. Upon transfer to the white or chalkboard, the paper-like product that had contained SCP-33 should be incinerated. Observation and study should take place in a secure conference room at least 30 meters from any computing or recording device for the maximum 2,560 second viewing window. All observations or notes should be made on 33 safe materials. Under no circumstances should any notes regarding SCP-33 leave the storage facility or be input into a computing or recording device. At precisely 2,000 seconds of viewing, research must stop and SCP-33 should be transferred to a new 33 safe paper-like product and returned to storage by Class D personnel. The white or chalkboard utilized in research must be incinerated as soon as possible after the transfer is complete, regardless of whether SCP-33 has faded naturally from its surface at 2,560 seconds. Whether 33 safe procedures halt or merely slow the deleterious effects of SCP-33 is unknown. It is theorized the irregular borders and handcrafting by mathematically unpredictable humans somehow disrupts the logic which allows SCP-33 to function. Description SCP-33 appears as a field of complex mathematical symbols ranging from simple layman identifiable representations to those only interpretable by highly trained mathematicians. The sum of the symbols is equal to a previously unknown integer designated Theta Prime by Professor Hutchinson, of intermediate value between and th As all modern mathematical calculations are performed lacking the knowledge or use of SCP-33, its introduction into any system organized without it begins eroding the numerical and eventually structural integrity of said system. This effect extends to SCP-33's transfer to any paper-like defined as paper, vellum, papyrus, or canvas, surface not possessing 33 safe dimensions or any computing or recording device it is input into. If inscribed on any other material, SCP-33 fades into unintelligibility in precisely 2,560 seconds. In addition, SCP-33 has shown the ability to leap from a 33 safe material to a manufactured or electronic material which it can destabilize in at least one instance, see Incident Report 33-D, requiring the institution of a 30 meter safe distance for electronic devices and paper-like products without 33 safe dimensions. There is currently no 33 safe specification for electronic storage. Of the operational research projects involving SCP-33 are dedicated to finding such a method for electronic storage. Operational research projects are dedicated to the application of SCP-33 as a neutralizing factor for potentially hostile, machine logic-based SCP objects. Clarifying commentary from Professor Hutchinson follows for non-specialist staff in Document 33-A. Effects may be reviewed in Document 33-Q. 
Document 33A, Debriefing of Professor Hutchinson After First Observation. Transcript edited for clarity. Professor Hutchinson. Every school child knows that 2 plus 2 is 4. The solid mathematical certainty of numerical order and value is the basis for all logic-based systems. We know that after 2 comes 3, and after 3 comes 4. What this formula proves is that we missed a number somewhere. Imagine if all our technology was based on the belief that after 4 came 6. We simply didn't know or conceive of 5. That is, in essence, what this formula proves. We missed a number. Professor Hutchinson I can't tell you why the handcrafted vellum works best. I can only surmise that it displaces mathematical predictability in two ways. One, the irregularity of the crafting process due to human error serves to eliminate any traces of regularity that would be found in a machine-created product. Two, the irregular borders seem to confuse it somehow, as if it gets locked up looking for a pattern to identify and use as an escape hatch. I'll tell you this though, I don't think it should be left on anything longer than a few days, it will find a pattern eventually. Professor Hutchinson I don't think it destroys anything. I think it tries integrating itself into our systems and our system can't hold it. It's like trying to cram another book into a full bookshelf. If you get a hammer, you can get it in there, but the whole bookshelf bursts eventually. If it gets out into the internet, we will potentially experience a full IT infrastructure collapse within hours. Document 33Q Test Results Trial 33 Delta 5 SCP-33 inscribed onto a single sheet of standard 8.5 by 11 inch manufactured white copy paper, hereafter X1. A second sheet of identical paper, hereafter X2, placed 30 centimeters away. 80 seconds. Symbols consistent with the content of SCP-33 begin appearing on X2. X1 unchanged. 160 seconds. Full content of SCP-33's formula appear on the surface of X2. X1 unchanged. 320 seconds. X1 and X2 both appear wet. Symbols still visible. 640 seconds. X1 is now roughly one part water and five parts pulp-like substance still filling an 8.5 by 11 inch flat plane. Symbols become unintelligible. X2 still appears wet, symbols visible. 1,280 seconds. X1 no longer visible at all. Liquid part appears to have evaporated. Pulp-like substance apparently sublimated. X2, now roughly one part liquid and five parts pulp-like substance, still filling an 8.5 by 11 inch flat plane. Symbols unintelligible. 2,560 seconds. X2 no longer visible at all. Liquid part appears to have evaporated. Pulp-like substance apparently sublimated. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.